guys, so today I'm going to be doing this little kind of subtle um, kind of mummy glam makeup as I would call it. It's normally take me about 10 minutes, probably sometimes a little less. The eyelashes of course are optional, it takes me no time at all to put them on so you don't have to add them on, you'll be even quicker if you don't do that. I'm just not blessed with decent eyelashes at all, therefore I always wear the fake ones. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're going in with the Urban Decay Hydrate and Prep Gel first. Normally sometimes I'll mix this, mix this in with my foundation but um, when I'm doing something quick I just put it on before. As my skin's really dry it gives me that nice shot of hydration that I really need. And I'm applying that all over the face with my Beauty Blender. Next we're going in with the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. I've been using this primer for about a year and a half now. I do really like it. It smooths everything out for me. And it's quite quick that you just use your hands to apply it. You don't need another brush. I'm just putting that on my kind of nose, cheek and chin area. That's typically where my foundation tends to come off first. So I just kind of concentrate that there. And I'm going in next with the Urban Decay Shape Shifter Palette. Because it's got all my kind of powders and contours and the colour correctors in the one palette, I tend to kind of grab that first, especially when I'm doing something quick. So I've just mixed the two correctors here and I'm applying them on the kind of dark circles in my, under my eyes. Now I'm going in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. This is shade 4.0 and I'm just doing like little tiny pumps of that. I'm barely even pressing it down. Just because the foundation is quite runny, I find that if you do a full pump on your face, it will run down. I didn't have my mixing palette on me, so this is typically during the day when I'm doing something quick, this is what I do. Tiny little pumps all over my face, and then I just blend it out with a foundation brush. This one is from Crown Brush. I'm just going in with a little extra scoot on my nose there. As you can see, my nose is actually quite red. Um, so I'm just putting a little extra pump there just to give me a little bit of coverage so that red ain't peeking through. So we're going in with the Shape Tape Concealer now. This is quite a full coverage concealer, so it's quite good if you don't want to do like a, a really full coverage foundation. This concealer is going to give you that extra coverage in the places that you really need it. So I went a shade quite lighter than my skin tone, as you can see, but I do that more for a highlight so that I don't have to use two products for concealing then highlighting. Because I'm going lighter, it's saving me an extra product, basically. So I'm just, again, blending that out with my Beauty Blender. So back into the Shape Shifted again and this time we're going in with the Powder Shimmer Highlight and we're taking the end of that Beauty Blender and just going to highlight in the cheekbones just to give us that nice quick little glow and then down the centre of the nose and I also take that on the Cupid's bow as well. So you'll notice that I only really use I think three brushes that's including for eyes and a Beauty Blender for the whole thing which is not bad. So I'm going in with the RCMA powder now with the Beauty Blender again and just really setting that under the eyes. You don't have to kind of bake this if you don't want to. I just tend to put it on and then I'll go in and do my contour bronzer and all that while it's sitting there. And then I can dust it off. You could obviously just go in with a powder brush and pop that all over just to set your foundation. So I'm going back into the Shape Shifter again, the two darker colours, and I'm using the Real Technique, it's actually a brush, a blush brush, sorry, but I quite like it for contouring. The domed end gets quite, gets into the kind of hollows of your cheekbones really easily, but it's still fluffy enough to diffuse the colour out. Oh, 
Okay, so sticking with that palette, I'm taking the exact same two colours again that I used for my contour and I'm going in with the Urban Decay Large Blending Brush. So this is an eye brush and the reason I like this brush is because, as you can see, it is quite a large brush so it does get a lot of surface area on the eye quite quickly. So I'm taking those same two colours, blending them all over the lid and up towards the crease of my eye. So you can see that literally took me a couple of seconds to do that. Because the brush is so big, it gets a lot of that area in one go. I think I've got about three or four of these brushes in my kit. I absolutely love it. It's so good for like highlight, for concealer, for eyes. It's just like kind of really one of those brushes that can do a bit of everything. So they're always good to have in your brush kit. And just getting that down the bottom as well. It's actually so much harder than it looks to try and stay focused on this camera but see what I'm actually doing. So just blending that all out. And now for the brows. Normally day to day I would use my Urban Decay Brow Beater. But I couldn't find it, so I just used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I can't really remember the shade of it, but I will list that um, maybe in my blog or down below. So the little brush I'm using for this as well is just a little angle brush from Primark. So it literally cost about, I think it's like £2, but you've got your angle brush on one side and your comb on the other side. So it's a little handy brush and it's really cheap as well, so that's quite good. I'm going for like more of a kind of softer look. I don't want them too like sharpened out. I don't want too much of a harsh brow. I'm just keeping them really soft, not adding much to the shape, just kind of going with what I've got. And now to remove the powder. So this is the Real Techniques powder brush that I've got here. Any powder brush will do for this. Any brush, to be honest, will do for this. And I'm just dusting off all that excess powder. And a little bit of mascara. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. As you can see, it is really intensely black. I don't think I've got the best of eyelashes. Well, I know I don't have the best of eyelashes, but they don't actually look that bad. Look, watching this back. So now for the lips, so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, this is the Urban Decay Lip Liner in the shade Start Naked. I'm not going too crazy on the lips. I'm not even going to overdraw them, to be honest. It's just a kind of day-to-day -day look. So you'll, you'll probably see, I notice it a mile off. I don't even know if you will notice it. When I don't overdraw my lips, my left hand side of my mouth, the lip is quite odd because of that ugly piercing that I got many years ago when it was cool. Um, so you'll not I notice it a mile away, but I don't even know if you will. So this is the Jeffy Star Liquid Lip in Celebrity Skin. The hair is down. I'm gonna miss the lashes. Like I said, you don't really have to do the lashes, these are totally optional, but I love a lash. I need a lash. If I'm gonna put makeup on then why not just put an eyelash on? Well, a pair of eyelashes. So these ones are the Prima Lashes and the Style Quartz. They're my all-time favourite lash. I think I've had these lashes for... I don't even want to tell you how long. I don't even know how many times I've used them. But I literally just use them until they fall apart. Or until they look really right. So that is the finished look. Thanks so much for watching. This is my 10-minute mummy makeup, makeup look. If you liked it, please give it a little thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching.